listening to and just about every famous Hollywood star back in the days, back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, stayed right here. And we're going to get some film here. It's supposed to be pretty interesting. Let's see. Okay. Hey. Hey, how are you? You mind if I get some film? Go ahead. When was this built? The original ranch house was built in 1892. When? In 1892. It was 1892, this place. These are all the people that stayed here. And this is where they're making a film here. There are just so many. Remember these people? Bunch. <laughs> right here. All these people, some of these famous people. This guy really liked Eli Wallach. This is preparing for a shoot seeing the girl in the black stocking starting starring Lex Barker and Ben Croft. Get ready right here to film it. Right outside here. Here are some others. Remember this guy? Rod Cameron, he was always cool, wasn't he? Oh, Amy Van Doren, Mamie Van Doren. Right outside here. Actually, I listened to it. Tyrone Don Knotts, Tim Conway. And where would they eat? Right here. This is a dining room for all those people. Is it elegant? In its day, and it still is actually, this is like about as fancy as you could get. Very, very sweet. Oh yeah, Western movies. <laughs> and let's see here, there's Zane Gray. Hey Zane, he makes some great movies. Let's see, explain. Oh, it just goes on and on. The list is too much for me. <laughs> Ronald Reagan stayed here. In this room, James Garner. Frank Sinatra. In this room, where well, you can see them, Telly Savala, Steve Martin, Arlene Dahl, Tyrone Power, remember him? This was state of the art back then, back in the 50s. My brother and I used to go to the Delta Theater in Monroe, Louisiana on 3rd Street. We would go there. Where it goes when uh, Frank Sinatra came here, he asked them, they, they kicked out, they uh, tore down two walls to make him a suit, a suite, I mean. Uh, so he had virtually three rooms. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's Frank Sinatra. Don Knott stayed here. Ruth Roman, Roman and Baxter, remember her? Barbara Stanwyck. Fred McMurray, one of my favorites. Joel McRae, Gregory Peck, Maureen O'Hara stayed here, Tim Conway, and Peter Lawford. Oh, Walter Brennan was my favorite. You remember Walter Brennan? Oh, man, I love that I think it was called Hell's Half Acre, something like that. Was a movie he oh, made? such a lovable character. <laughs> Just goes on and on. Margot Kidder stayed there. That's their room when they come here. That's reserved for them. And it goes all the way around. And that's the theater. Let's go see the theater. We see it even over there too, but. Uh, a beautiful place. The old barn playhouse. 
They didn't just build this. This has been here. Down near a hundred years. 80 anyway. I don't know what year that is. Probably, I'd say like a 43. Yeah. This probably most likely used in films. Too. They may have photographs and some interesting oh, uh, yay, good memorabilia. <laughs> they show these old movies here. Look at this. people who've been in this room. Telly Savalls, George Hamilton, the Rat Pack, of course. Look at this, Raymond Massey. Rod Cameron, you remember him? Dennis Weaver. Eli Wallace. Fred McMurray. Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. And Ben Crump, oh, she's so good. Burgess Meredith. Ronald Reagan. Omar Sharif, he came here and stayed uh, a couple of weeks. James Arnez, Buck Taylor, I remember him. Amanda Blake, I remember her. Remember, she was Miss Kitty in uh, Gunsmoke, Gregory Peck. Oh, Playhouse. There are no lights on in this uh, this building. Buddy Epson played here, Don Knotts, Kim yeah. Conway. Look at this, James Garner, Best Park. Oh. He drove it. Look at that RV. <laughs> Calamity Jane. Oh, man. They entertained us when we were kids, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Lights out. What this is over here. This was for Joey Bishop when he came here. Bess Parker. John Wayne, Julie Newmar, and Blythe, Robert Taylor. Right here by the pool. Now this was state of the art at that time. Oh, I see Dean Martin's been here. Just kidding, Dean. That's the people in the pool were staying there. <laughs> To see them all sitting around the swimming pool. <laughs> this was the place in those days.
Yep, we're gonna see some more. You know, that really almost destroyed them all. And um, they're falling apart. Oh, <laughs> it takes a lot of money. This is the movie set still, right? Yeah, and it, but it just takes a lot of money to maintain them. And they're yeah, definitely having a hard time. This was the backdrop for a concert. This concert. Kenny Lawson's concert. That was the uh, the facade, or uh, looked like a building, doesn't it? This is from the Rat Pack. <laughs> what about it, Skinner? Look at that. The Gunport uh, from the 1962 Rat Pack remake of Gunga Dean. Anyway. This whole area was for that movie. There's your jail. They filmed all the, with all this. This was made for that movie. Now this is this is the home, the outlaw Josie Wells. This is actually the set the cross. for the outlaw Josie Wells. One of them. Wow, this is awesome. This is if but this is the uh, the set for Outlaw Josie Wells. This is the house they were in that was supposedly out in the prairie. And of course it wasn't. Yep, Clint Eastwood was in here. <laughs> This is right in a city. It's not out in the desert. Still has the crosses on the windows and the door. Just like seen on the movie. Yep. These are all old movie sets. This is awesome. <laughs> They had tiny homes. Had what? <laughs> tiny homes. What do we have here? This is the first set for James Gardner and Jody Foster, uh, the Disney comedy One Little Indian. It was built along with the barn that is still used at Best Friends Animal Society. This is the house. They have it locked. You can't go in it. Wow. This is when Jody Foster was nine years old. They used this as the uh, the prop or the house to make that film with James Gardner. This windmill was first used as a set in 1996 for Keeper Sutherland's Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, as part of a, a homestead built in uh, in Utah. And then it was moved out to Pariah, where it was used in the attic door. And the attic door was used this, and this is the prop. I can't get scooter. <laughs> See which one this is. Cool. This is awesome. This is the barn used in the movie Outlaw Josie Wells. Let's see inside. Okay. One of my favorite movies, by the way. There's 
the cemetery. movie sets. Let's see what this one is. Which movie was this used in? Black Bart. The black movie Black Bart. And this is the building that they fought over her. <laughs> black Bart. The set in Black Bart. This whole set here. No poster from, uh, Sergeant Three, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, Joy Bishop, and Dean Martin. That was the Rat Pack. They filmed it right here in Kanab, Utah. These are old movie sets. All this has been used in movies. All these, these little artifacts you see around here. A complete western town was built in 1963 for Sergeant Three's Rat Pack remake of Gunga Ding. It's also in Gunsmoke, Death Valley Days, and Outlaw Josie Wells. This is some of the wood. It was made, uh, this little playhouse was made with the wood from those sets. No pillows in jail. Okay. We sent it you to 30 days of continuing to being a sweet baby. <laughs> the gun port. This is where they stick their guns out. <laughs> Very cool. The gun port. <laughs> From the movie The Rat Pack. The Rat Pack remake, remake of Gunga Dean. This and Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> but if you want to come to this museum, uh, you look for this white horse and there's a sign called Center Street right here.